It's Cousin Didi. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. I, I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, today we're going to get into a topic where beta males can't have motorcycles. There's nothing like getting up on a Saturday morning, the sun's shining, it's about 72 degrees outside, a little wind blowing, you get your helmet on, you get your bike out, you get your phone on your ram mount, turn your music on, head out of the neighborhood, get on the road, everything goes away. I mean, the worries of the world go away, the stress of the world goes away, problems in your life, your relationships, people nagging at you, your bosses, everything aligns to okay when you're on those two wheels and you're riding that motorcycle, whether you're in the country, whether you're in the traffic, whether you're in the city, right? Whether you're drag racing or whatever type of motorcycle riding you're doing. As motorcycle riders, when we get on that bike, that is our therapy. People pay money to go, you know, sit down and, and talk to people about their life and their problems and their worries. Motorcycle riders, we get on a motorcycle, we get on that open road, no cage around us, and just go, and everything for us aligns. That is the beauty of being on a motorcycle. The sad part of this is there's people, there's men, who will never have that opportunity to feel what it's like to be on a bike and have that freedom where your whole life aligns. And the reason that is, is because they have women in their life that are telling them you can't have a bike. If you start dating a girl and you're dating her and you haven't got a motorcycle yet, maybe you're looking at bikes and she starts telling you, oh, we just started dating and you know we're really getting along really well and they're just so dangerous and I just don't think that you should have that, you know, and I just really wish that if you cared about me, you know, you wouldn't do something like that to hurt me. Or you talk to the guy who's married, you know, he's been married for many years, he's always wanted a motorcycle, right? He hasn't had the money to be able to do it. Now he's getting a little bit older and he's got some cash in the, the bank and his dream is to always have that motorcycle he's been dreaming about his whole life and he wants to get on that open road and you know his friends are riding and he hears about how great it is and you know he, he, he talks to his wife about how he wants to purchase it and she, you know, you need to be responsible and they're dangerous and, and if you go get something like that then I'm just going to have to make a decision whether I want to stay with you anymore and I can't be with somebody who, who puts their life in danger like that ahead of, it, ahead of me. Or you get the dad right, he's been married, now he has the newborn kid or he has the little babies and he still hasn't got that motorcycle but man he wants that bike so bad. He really wants that bike so bad and he sits down with his wife and he talks to her and he says, you know, this is the dream of mine. I've always wanted it my whole life and well, we just had a baby and it's just not responsible to have a motorcycle and you go out there and get yourself hurt and killed and what are we supposed to do as a family and, and you don't need to do that. You need to get a minivan where we can all fit in there and ride around to Walmart together. It's sad, guys. It's really sad. So let me tell you what the definition of the beta male is. A beta male is a man who lacks masculine energy and adopts feminine characteristics, often faces problems or confrontations passive aggressively. A beta male is often taken advantage due to his nice guy persona. Only a beta male apologizes to his wife after she cheats on him. That's sad, but it's true, right? So in the social hierarchy, the beta males serve as loyal subordinates to the alpha. They lead the deltas and the gammas on his behalf, enforce the rules of the hierarchy, and report back to the alpha. In return, they expect to partake in the benefits that come from being the leader's right-hand man. They desire recognition and shared credit from the alpha, and demand respect from the deltas and gammas of the hierarchy. And guys, if you want a motorcycle, and that's something you want to do, you got to go out there and get yourself a bike. The people you see riding around, the men, the women that you see on their bikes riding around have made the decision that I don't care 
who's in my life or what's going on. I want a bike. This is what I do. This is my life. And this is what I'm going to be doing on it. So lace up those boots, right? Untuck the wiener. And you go down to that dealership and you do what you got to do to join these ranks of alpha males that are riding around out here enjoying their lives and doing what they want. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to let you get to it. Enjoy the rest of the ride. You guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much.